So today I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft PowerPoint to create your classroom resources. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to open up a blank presentation in PowerPoint. And when I open a blank presentation in PowerPoint, it will give me a normal slide size for presentations. And I don't want um, a presentation size because I want to be able to print my resources out onto A4. So I'm going to change, first of all, the, si the size of my slide. So go to design, slide size, page setup, and then I can select what size my printout is going to be. And I'm going to be A4. So I want portraits. Press OK. And it will change my slide size to A4. So I'm going to make some simple classroom labels just to show you why PowerPoint is so much better um, than some other of the Microsoft programs. So if I go to insert shapes, if I create a shape in Microsoft Word or if I try to insert a picture into Microsoft Word, it will not let me move it around the page without formatting it first. Whereas in Microsoft PowerPoint, everything that you put in, you can move around simply. And it also gives you some really useful guides so that you know where the centre of your page is as well. So if I insert my shape, I'm going to, go, going to make sure it's got no fill. I'm going to fill this in with a nice colourful background for my classroom. Um, so I'm going to show you some websites that you can use to get some nice backgrounds and some nice clip art. So... Um, this is the one that I like the best for royalty free clip art. So if you are going to upload yours onto tests or going to sell it anyway, you need to make sure you've got the right licenses for it. So this website is royalty free, which means that you can use it without having to pay for a commercial license and it's fine to use it. I think she just asks you to cite her in any credits you have for the resource. Um, but she's got some other paid for resources on another website as well. But this is really great because it has lots of seasonal clip art. It's all split into different categories. And they've got some nice, simple black backgrounds as well. So I'm going, that's what I'm going to look for for my labels. I'm going to want a cute, colourful background. So I'll have that one. I'm going to save that image. I'm just going to save it as stars. And then I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. And then I'm going to fill this label now with... That image so I'm going to go to shape format shape fill picture search for the one that we just saved and if I fill in my shape it will stretch it out to fill the whole shape so I need to format that so I'm going to right click format picture and then go to fill and I want to tile as a texture so that it won't be all pixelated Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to insert another um, box, another shape, so I can put my label on the top for my resource. So let's make it that big. And I can you can see how it's going to guide me now to where the centre of my shape is. So if it was off-centre, it's going to show me exactly where centre is. I'm going to fill that shape in with the white. Um, I don't want an outline on it. And I'm going to insert a text box so I can put a label onto it. So let's just say we want pencils on this label. I'm going to make it into a nice snazzy font. So let's have that one. I'm going to centre it. And I can make sure that's properly in the centre by just moving it around and the guys will show me where to put it. So now I've got my label. I want to put a little bit of clip out here so that it's... Um, friendly for my classroom so I've got a picture on my label we always want pictures on labels so let's have a look what that website's got so if I go to the home page we can see there's a whole section called pencil clip art so if I click that I've got a whole load of choices of things I could have so I'm going to save that image or the copy of the image I've already saved it but I can copy it as well if you want to um, and then just paste it make it a little bit smaller rotate it a little bit and put it on the edge of my label just like that so the great thing about Microsoft PowerPoint as well is that if I wanted to create another label that was exactly the same all I have to do is I just drag a box around all my graphics and copy and then press paste and then it will duplicate that exactly. And then you can also see it's allow it, it letting me line up so you don't get that awful thing when you're guillotining something that things aren't lined up and you have to cut, cut it all individually. You can just chop straight down there. And then I could just change then this label to pens I could, and then change the clip art to a different picture. 
I could also do a whole page of those labels and then instead of copying each individual label again, I could just duplicate this slide. So then I can have another page of labels. So this is great if you're doing like cloakroom labels and you've got all your children's names in here, you can just duplicate this, the slide then just change the name on there. So this is fab for um all your royalty free stuff, all your if you're thinking think about commercial use. Again, if you if you're not worried about commercial use for stuff, just use Google Images if you want to. Um, but if you really wanted to create some stuff that you could sell or upload for free even, um, Dafonts is a website that I get all my um fonts for if I'm just doing stuff for school that's just for me. Um, it is not for commercial use at all. You can only use it for um personal use. But if you decide you found a font you really liked, you can apply for commercial use for it by just going to the um website for that font. And then another place that I get my fonts from is somewhere called fontbundles.net. So fontbundles.net is for commercial use. There is lots of um ones that you pay for, obviously, but they have a section called free fonts, which have some really, really lovely fonts in. And all you have to do is download them and install them into your computer to use them. They, again, they have a commercial license with them, so you don't have to pay for anything for that. Um, but that's a really handy website. And the other one that I use for graphics for worksheets is a website called designbundles.net. Again, they have a free um, section as well. It's the same company as um, Font Bundles, but for graphics and clip art and backgrounds. Um, so have a look at that as well, because they've got some lovely stuff. And again, that's for commercial use. Um, and the other place you can get some is from Teachers Pay Teachers. So on Teachers Pay Teachers, there are lots of, um, there's some free stuff, but most of it's paid for. Um, usually there is some sort of commercial license with it, but they ask you to cite them um, as the creators. But they have like big, massive packs of clip art if you wanted to pay for um, clip art bundles from Teachers Pay Teachers. Some of the ones there as well. So I hope that helps. So the next tutorial will be a tutorial to show you how you can create labels where you want this to be editable. You don't want the person who has the label to be able to edit anything else.